In the fourth part we will discuss the drum page. Change into drum page with Shift and key 3. In the drum page you have a concurrent access to all three drum pages A to C. All three tracks are composed in the same way and are made with two parallel key arrays respectively. We like to show the functions using the example of drum track A now. The four green key buttons below are the drum pads 1, 2, 3 and 4. These are the play keys to play the sequence of the track. All other key buttons are only there to adjust or access functions. First you assign each key button a note number according to the drum instrument you want to play. For this purpose you push shift and the pad. With the data entry knob you change the value. The six key buttons beyond are hotkeys for phrases. Put the phrases you want to access faster on the key buttons. For this purpose push the key and dial the data entry knob to choose the phrase. With the right key in the array beyond you activate the phrases, green LED comes on, or you activate the single mode, phrase LEDs off. In single mode only a note quantized to a sixteenth will be generated. The left key chooses the current velocity of the track you are playing. The recorded velocity cannot be changed later unless you re-record the part. In the array beyond you have mute, LED yellow means active and hold, LED green means active. Now we level a drum sequence. Start the sequencer, choose a phrase and play a drum pad. The key bottom left calls the alternate mode. LED yellow means alternate, LED green means active. So the drum pads will automatically be played one after the other. If you push drum pad 1, it will play drum pad 1 and 2 in phrase rhythm alternately. The key on the right below is the clear key. Push it at the point you want to delete. By additionally pushing the alternate key you will delete the whole track. You can save your adjustments and the pattern permanently in the setup page. You have to change into the setup page first. Push the second yellow key in the fourth row from above and next the blinking key. Your adjustments as well as the pattern is now saved permanently. Here we finish our tutorial about the phrase sequencer. We wish you much fun!